retail uh, really in focus today, the whole sector in general. We've got retail sales data out. Uh, what are you expecting also taking into consideration West Farmers Investor Day today, which could indeed provide a real detailed look at the strategy behind the group's operations? Moira, the next couple of days we're going to see the focus firmly on retail. After uh, Myers downgrade last week and uh, the commentary that Myers uh, conditions had deteriorated in April and May, the market is going to be watching these April retail sales numbers very closely. If we have a look at the March numbers, we saw an increase of 0.9% seasonally adjusted and that's after a rise of 0.3% in February and a rise of 0.4% in January. It's interesting looking at the trends though. If we have a look at where consumers are spending money, they're Spending money on services, things like cafes, restaurants, takeaway, but the area that has remained soft is household goods. We saw a decline of half a percent in the last set of numbers. So we're going to be watching these numbers to see whether they reflect the commentary that we've come that has come out of Maya, and that is that retail conditions have deteriorated in the month of April as well as the month of May. Also, the spotlight on West Farmers Investor Day. Uh, we know that the Coles business has been doing well, as have, this is a hardware business, but one business that has been struggling has been targeted. And no doubt there will be quite a few questions around Ian McLeod's uh, $15.6 million payment last year. So the market likely to focus on that. And of course, tomorrow we see David Jones's third quarter results, so that will be closely watched. So altogether, retail in focus, 11.30 a.m. We'll get those retail sales numbers. The market also watching West Farmers today. Uh, the interest there quite intensifying and New Zealand increasing its stake in Virgin. I wouldn't have thought there'd be much uh, in terms of shareholdings and, and buyers going into stocks, much interest given that it's not really a profit making sector right now. Uh, this is, I guess, part of a deal that was done last year. We saw Air New Zealand taking a strategic stake in Virgin of 14.99%. And as uh, part of that, they also entered into a derivatives contract with Deutsche Bank. So a nice deal for Deutsche Bank. Looks like some of those shares have been exercised under that deal because we did see a large chunk of Virgin shares going through the market yesterday, about 2.5% of the available Virgin stock going through. That's about $23.1 million worth, and that was done at 40 Two cents. So it does look like Air New Zealand has increased its stake. And of course, it comes at a time when there is a strategic alliance between Air New Zealand and Virgin. They've increased the flights to from Sydney to Queenstown during that ski season. And they've also seen uh, an increase in flights from Brisbane to Wellington and Auckland as well. Of course, Qantas is also under the spotlight after the split of its international and domestic operations and speculation continuing to mount that perhaps we could see a sell off of some of its, some of its domestic operations in a strategic deal to the likes of Emirates or Singapore Airlines. Of course, Qantas, though, under the pump with its Air Pacific uh, holding, it's got a 46% stake, but it's been in a battle with the Fijian uh, military government there. So it does look like it's removed four board members from Air Pacific. It is. It has been hoping to sell off this stake since 2009, but really the timing's not uh, right for the business, and it is a loss-making business. So altogether, airlines very much in the spotlight. Uh, Qantas with some positive changes in regards to the split of its international domestic operations and ongoing speculation around that split and Air New Zealand increasing its stake in Virgin. Stories this morning is of course Crown announcing that Jeff Kennett has actually consented uh, to his nomination as a director of Echo Entertainment. Of course Crown trying to push out uh, current uh, director and chairman John Story. Just run us uh, through your thoughts on this and what sort of impact we're likely to see today in trade of those shares. Well it looks like a bit of a battle for uh, Echo's board and it does look like Packer making a move there to try and get Jeff Kennett on the board of Echo Entertainment. Of course we know that Crown owns around about a 10% stake of Echo and this is another area where we have seen derivatives playing a part in a corporate trying to increase its stake in another uh, company. So no doubt that the casino battle is going to heat up for Echo. It does seem quite a hostile move. Uh, the market's going to be watching this one very closely, but I guess it's all about the Sydney casino assets here fairly flat day of trade today and not so at this stage the market down 0.8 of a percent all in all what are you expecting it is going to be a difficult day for the Australian market although we did see a positive lead out of the US the US being back from its Memorial Day long weekend and a rise of 1.1 percent there the fact that we have seen some action after hours is going to weigh on our market we've seen research in motion coming out with a very surprised first quarter loss and we've seen that stock down by 11 percent that's how having a negative impact in terms of the US futures we're seeing the S&P futures is down by about 0.3% at the moment, having a negative impact on the start of the Australian market. 
And altogether, the Australian market has seen a pretty strong bounce back over the last couple of sessions. So it does look like uh, the, the action that we've seen after hours after the US close is going to weigh on the market. We did see gold, silver prices lower, but copper prices were higher and oil prices mm -hmm. looking quite flat. And we're going to be see, watching uh, the domestic economic numbers coming out. Not only do we see retail sales for April, but we will see that those first quarter construction numbers out today as well.